<sighs> One more pottery day. Uh, I'm gonna head over, unload the kiln. Really excited to see how that turns out. Um, a little nervous because of the reduction issue, but um, I'll see if it was an issue. Hopefully it's a good day, because yeah. All right, so I'm here. Just got the, I got impatient. The kiln's at like just under 200 degrees, like 190. So still a little warm to really unload, but I get impatient. So I pulled the lid off and I had to see. It's interesting, pretty interesting. The, um, I kind of snuck a peek down lower where the bowls are with the chinos on them. And those were what I was most, those are what I didn't think would turn out very well. Um, because I wasn't sure if I got good reduction or not. Those actually looks like, looks like they turned out really nice. Um, and I think that's because of the reduction cooling that I did at the end. And I think I did that too heavy for the other glazes. I'll show you. So I got these commercial glazes. These are what I had on the gnomes. So I don't think these like that much reduction, which I learned, but. Okay, so here's top shelf. The gnomes look kind of cool. And you see, if I can focus there, the chinos look like they actually worked. So it looks like the chinos and the raw sienna turned out pretty interesting. Um, yeah, let's start taking stuff out. I think this chino is good for plates and flat surfaces. 
looks cool. But there's so many bubbles and crawling. And the plate does have a little crack, but I need that before I put it in. That's okay. Really interesting. A big old bubble there. Put that there. Alright. <clears throat> well, that's that's the kiln. Um, I'd say overall, I'd give it a seven out of ten. So I've had a little bit to sit with the pots out of the kiln and whew, my first impressions were about 7 out of 10 but now I'm liking the stuff a lot more the uh I'll show you this guy turned out really nice this little bowl this is the Shino that I was worried about and it looks like I did get really good reduction because you see how white it is and also how the clay body itself is kind of toasty. So that turned out really good. I'm very happy with the Shino. Yeah, that I'll show you the other bowls. The other bowls, the outside are kind of boring. I, I just brushed on some Shino on the outside. Again, I'm not good at brushing chinos um or brushing glaze i always put on too thin but i wanted the chino to be thin because you can see i wanted it to get the like red or orange look and a lot of chinos do that when they're thin but still nice bowl i think this one has some of the best brush designs on it Get my focus there. It turned out pretty nice. So yeah, overall I'm really happy with these bowls. The uh these little bases, little bud bases, turned out pretty nice, even though the glaze should be uh thicker, but like this one. Let's see if you can see that. Like this right here, these little crystals. The glaze was quite a bit thicker up in here just under the lip. But that turned out really cool. Even though the glaze is supposed to be more like a light sky blue, turned out pretty, pretty nice. There's another one where it's not the color glaze is supposed to be, but still a pretty nice pot. The uh, dragonfly turned out really nice, I think. And then up here, I brushed on the green glaze just over the rim, hoping to get it to kind of blend together. Didn't really blend, but it's kind of neat. And then, got this guy. Just this raw sienna glaze, which I love this glaze. It's basically, um, it's basically just a temaku with rutile added to it. And that's what all the extra, like, kind of furry or the brown texture is. Well, that one turned out really nice. And then, I'll show you the plate. So the plate, I've never, I haven't had great consistent uh, results with plates. But this one, it's pretty nice overall. The glaze is still, the chino is still crawling a little bit, but that's okay. 
and the plate did crack. It's got a little crack here. You can see that, yeah. You know, crack there, and it even goes along here. So, I don't think it's really good for functional use, but, eh, neat little display, whatever. And just my fingers wipe through the Shino. Never really tried that, so it's an experiment. Now, the exciting part of this firing. The genomes. I think they turned out pretty cool. Really, I mean, Lauren made, well I, I threw the, uh, the cones for the gnomes and then Lauren did the beard, eyebrow, nose, and hat. Like she finished the gnomes from the, but yeah, they just, they turned out pretty, pretty cool. Let's see if we can focus on that guy. Look at that. This is a little grumpy, grungy, rustic little guy. These guys turn out really cool. Again, the glaze not the color that I was expecting based on the glaze that I put on it. This is my favorite little top hat. Yeah. Not at all what I was expecting or hoping for, but it did turn out pretty cool. I like this guy because there's no glaze on the body, just really the beard and the face hat and hands and feet. So I really like this guy with the little uh, acorn hat. Really cute. And Lauren made this one. Lauren's better at gnomes than me. That's just, yeah. And this little guy. This guy is supposed to be that blue glaze on his body and beard everywhere. It's not blue at all. But I think that's okay because it still turned out kind of neat. And I knew that gla these glazes would look different because I was firing in reduction, and the glaze there, the commercial glazes, and those are usually just the test tiles and all that are geared towards oxidation firing. So I knew they would turn out different. Um, I don't know. I'll have to keep playing with them. Definitely want to try just a thicker application. Although this guy, this is the gnome. So this one, I made and finished this gnome. Let's see if we can focus, there we go. So I completely did this gnome, except Lauren glazed it. <laughs> So the glaze on this gnome turned out the best, and I didn't do the glazing. I, I made the gnome, and this is probably my least favorite of the gnomes. I still like it, but Lauren's much better at the gnomes, like I've said. But yeah, this glazing turned out really cool. I kind of like this glaze in the reduction when it's applied correctly. Kind of like a Ayumi type deal. Really cool. Could be really fun to play with. Now we've got these little, little guys. These are my test tiles, really. So these guys I just dunked in the little pint jars of the commercial glazes to see how they turned out. I think they turned out pretty cool. This guy especially. Look at that. Look at all these crystals. Like That's so cool. These mini gnomes are pretty fun to make. Yeah, all the gnomes are fun. Oh, then I'll show you this. This little baby. 
baby jar. Focus on the jar. There we go. Yeah, this little baby jar. Not enough glaze. I do have another theory about the blue glaze, the commercial glaze that I was using. I don't think I, I mix it up enough before applying it. Um, I think there are some more like chunks in the glaze because I, I just shook the pint and I should have grabbed a stick and stirred it better. So that might help. Um, learned a lot from this firing and I'm excited to get on to the next one.